Rob, obviously not the results you wanted on the scale today. Can you tell me what went wrong? Uh, just the last two, just wasn't coming off. Um, you know, we <sighs> cut the weight before. Um, probably coming in lighter next time, you know, but uh, you know, it just wasn't coming off. We uh, ran out of time and then, you know, just wasn't safe anymore, so. Were you at all concerned that maybe this fight wouldn't move forward? Nah, Cheetah's a gangster, man. Like, I figured he would. Obviously, I know he's going to be pissed. Maybe try to get a little more percentage, but I figured the fight would still go on. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's unfortunate. Uh, you know, first time, just we got stuck and it just it just wasn't coming off. I know that you're somebody who's always trying to learn from your mistakes. And you mentioned to us in our fighter meetings this week that you took a lot from the last outing and you got back in the gym. For you, what are the biggest lessons that you're taking that you feel like will help you overcome Cheeto Vera? Yeah, um, obviously it's going to be not standing in front of him. Um, you know, I got hurt. I mean, got hit too early, too clean, the big shots in that first in that first round versus Aldo. And, uh, you know, I just can't be there to get hit like that. You know, um, um, you know, you give somebody like 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 an Aldo that much of a lead, it's hard to catch up. And, um, you know, everything from there, everything, every time he touched me, I was just all over the place. But, uh, you know, um, I don't plan on doing that with Cheeto. And um, I, I'm going to be moving in and out. You know, keeping them guessing, keep, keeping them um, swinging and, and, and looking for those big shots, and then I'm um, going to capitalize off of that. Yeah, certainly. I, you know, a lot of people believe in your abilities to adjust and look at this one as a fresh new fight. But this is your third main event in a row. There's got to be something said for the experience of going five rounds in your last two and preparing for five rounds yet again. Yeah, um, obviously, you, you don't want to go all five again, <laughs> but, you know, I, I've done it. You know, I've been, you know, 10 rounds. With, with uh you know former champions and you uh, know you know with a lot of experience and you know uh, you know uh, uh, you know obviously this is his first time but uh, you know I wasn't it was my my first main event was not too long ago so I know what he's going through uh yeah you know he's been around for a while and and, and uh, you know I don't think the extra media or the extra two rounds is going to phase him that much um so uh yeah and I fights on uh, you know out that won't happen again and um i'm still gonna put on the show yes we believe in that you know you said you don't want to see that 25th minute um so if this one ends early rob how do you envision it uh you know I, I'm, I'm thinking second round tko knockout but uh you know I, I expect him to shoot um i'm gonna try to put the pressure on him. i'm expecting him to shoot so uh, if i can snag something snag a neck sprawl come around to the back look for that tko or that choke i will be finishing with the submission Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.